if you want an AI model to be your domain data specific, then one way of doing it is through fine tuning the model. Fine tuning an AI model refers to the process of taking a pre trained model which has already been trained on a large general data set and further training it on a smaller specific data set to adapt its knowledge and improve its performance on tasks closely related to that specific data set. This process allows the model to retain its broad understanding acquired during initial training while optimizing its ability to recognize patterns, make predictions or generate outputs that are more aligned with nuances of the new targeted data set. Fine tuning is particularly useful in situations where collecting a large task specific data set is challenging or infeasible leveraging the pre-trained models existing knowledge to achieve high performance. There are various tools and libraries available out there to fine tune the models. Exolotl is one of them. And I should say that it is one of the top ones because there are various available and there are quite a good ones too. I have done various videos on those tools. But in this video, I just wanted to give you a flavor of Exolotl and why it is one of the more popular ones along with few others. The main attraction of Exolotl is that it includes a lot of features in one tool. For example, all you need to do is to create one configuration file in YAML format where you specify everything including which model you are training, how you are training, any other parameters and then few other things and that's it and then you just run it. Also, Exolotl also allows you to specify multiple data set with various prompt uh, formats such as Alpaca, AirGPT and few others. Exolotl also supports uh, techniques like LoRa, QLoRa, ReLoRa, GPTQ, Flash Attention, Rope Scaling and few others. And there are a lot of integrations with Exolotl. Now, in this video, I am going to now show you an example in Google Colab for, with the free GPU as how you can fine tune a simple smaller model on a smaller data set. And of course, you can scale it as per your requirement. I'll be using Google Colab free version. Go to runtime, change runtime type and select the Google's free generous GPU. First step, let's import the PyTorch library. Simply do import torch because PyTorch is already installed in this. Once that's done, we are going to install all of the dependencies. And just for sake of completion, I'm going to also install the latest version of PyTorch. But let's wait for this to finish. That is done. Now let's install this. So this is the Exolotl which I'm installing. And then few other things like flash attention, deep speed, and torch. So let's wait for it to finish. And you can see that both of these things are installed. Now flash attention is a CUDA library designed to accelerate the computation of attention mechanism in transformers, which significantly improves processing speed and efficiency for large scale models. Whereas deep speed is an open source deep learning optimization library by Microsoft, which is aimed at enabling efficient training of very large models with deep scale and resource optimization. So that is why we are using it. So all of these prerequisites have been installed. Took a bit of a time as you can see here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the real magic of Exolotl is that all you need is one YAML file. First, we are importing this YAML library and then we are giving all of the configuration needed in order to fine tune this tiny llama model on our own data set, which is this Alpaca 2000 set uh, test data set. All we need is this YAML file. Let me walk you through very quickly 
as what exactly these parameters mean as you might have guessed base model is simply the pre-trained model tiny llama model uh, type is that we are using that uh, llama for causal lm it means simply means that uh, this is derived from llama model family then <clears throat> we have some load precision and that sort of stuff so which means that it loads a model in 4 bit precision for memory efficiency and not in 8 bit here and then we are using uh, strict loading is false which means that it disables the strict mode for model weight loading which allows for flexibility in missing non-matching keys then these are the data set related configuration parameter where we are using this data set with 5% of data for validation and outputs to a designated directory which is this one now for adapter we are using qlora which configures model with qlora adapter setting lora parameters like rank alpha and dropout targeting linear layers then we are using some sequencing and packing here which sets the maximum sequence length enable sample packing and ensure spreading to maximum sequence length then there are some training related parameters here which primarily means that it is specifying gradient accumulation batch size number of epochs and steps with cosine learning rate scheduler and specific learning rate then we are specifying some of the precision and optimization which enables mixed precision training which is floating point 16 and then gradient checkpointing for memory efficiency with a specific optimizer and then some logging and evaluation with vandb and then the miscellaneous parameter down the road which include setting for weight decay disable cert which disable certain advanced feature like flash attention and leave plus placeholder for several configuration features like uh, deep speed and special token and then we are uh, saving that yaml file locally here in this file let me run it that's done cool now once that's done all we need to do is to launch the training with accelerate then this is a command which we use which is simply launching uh, the exolotl cli to train on the basis of this and we already have a yaml file so let me run it and you can start it uh, you can see that it has started with few of the uh, warnings which you can ignore and it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish there you go it is running running with exolotl and i will let it run for a bit It's good that only 2000 that is advantage of using the short test data set and you can see that it is loading the model which is just 4.4 gig i will let that training run for a time bit because it was it is going to take uh, some time because it will take few pauses and there will be multiple epochs but that is all there is to it now you can find a lot of other information on this exolotl's github repo as uh, the documentation is quite nice as you can see here there is also a quick start guide you can do it with docker and a lot of other things you can even run it on windows or on uh, a uh, public cloud or run pod and there's a lot of other information around uh, training inference and that sort of stuff and i will drop the link to this github repo in video description so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or stuck let me know and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching